guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing another favorites video, but not your typical favorites video. This is specifically going to be a fall aesthetic favorites video. So I was very strict about what I allowed to enter into this video. We actually do not have any skincare or hair care because I just didn't feel like any of it was fall inspired. So we do have a couple nail polishes and lipstick, but other than that, that's as far as we go in the beauty categories for this video because I just really wanted every single item to actually represent fall for me and I don't have anything in my skincare or hair care collection that screams fall. It would have been a stretch, you know? It would have been a force in this video. So we're sticking to just fall. I know this is totally a change of pace, but you guys seem to really love my last favorites video and specifically said that you liked how I kind of branched out a bit from hair care and skincare because you guys get that like four to five days a week as is on my channel. So I thought this would be a fun one to do as well. If you guys are equally as obsessed with fall as I am, this is the perfect video for you. Let's light a black flame candle and jump right into it. Okay, I actually do want to just light some candles right now to get it smelling like fall in here. Oh my gosh, smoke in the camera, sorry. So let's start off with candles, shall we? Let's just start off the one that I just lit like a dramatic POS in the beginning. Okay, this one is called The Perfect Autumn, and this says it has fragrance notes of fresh cranberry, spiced pumpkin, crisp apple, and rich clove, which are like some of the best fall scents ever. Oh, it's so yummy. I love this one. It definitely has that spiciness to it, but it's not too spicy to where you feel like it's gonna burn your nose hairs and it's just too intense. It's the perfect amount of spice with that app. Like, you guys, this is fall in a jar. It's so good. And how cute is this? I mean, come on. It's so cute. Anything matte black, I'm obsessed with. So I just love this for aesthetic reasons in my apartment, but also it smells like heaven. It has just kind of like a shiny black top to it. So that's what it looks like. I'm about to light this. Okay, the next candle I got, I know. Pumpkin spice latte, but hear me out. This smells like coffee and I am a coffee addict. I love coffee more than I can explain. It's unhealthy. Again, I don't care. And I love the smell of coffee and this is, you guys, this smells so good. If you like the smell of coffee and also like the smell of fall, you need this candle in your life. Okay, this is cute too. I'll show you in a sec, but it's just, what does this even say? Fragrance notes of fresh espresso, pumpkin pie spice, whipped cream, and a sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. Yes, it's exactly what it is. It's not too overly sugarly sweet though, because I just don't love those scents. It just starts to make you feel sick after a while. They definitely had a lot of those, like donut, pumpkin pie flavors, and things like that. I just, not my kind of thing, but this, gosh, I wish you guys could smell it. And then look how cute. Okay, next is just an ultimate fall classic and very different from those other two, which are very traditionally fall scented, I would say. Look at me talking about scents like I know a thing. This is the Sweater Weather Candle. Oh my, <laughs> you guys, every time I smell these, I'm like shocked. Okay, this one says it has fragrance notes of fresh sage, juniper berry, aromatic eucalyptus, and fresh woods. It's definitely got a masculine woodsy scent to it. Okay, this jar is not quite as cute as the other two, which I just, oh, I love those ones so much. I mean, it works. It's not my favorite. I know that they have other packaging available. This was just the cutest one that they had in the store. I mean, it's cute. It's just like the other two were very next level. So if you don't like the kind of spicy pumpkin-y scents, you need this one instead. And then the last one, I would, I feel like Sweater Weather and this one are just the classic fall scents from Bath & Body Works. It's leaves. Oh, this one's good too. So this one has fragrance notes of crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. But I would say out of the first two and this one, it's the least spicy. Spicy. <laughs> There's a TikTok going around where someone says, why is it spicy? And this really weird voice. And Eli and I have been saying that to each other 24 seven for like the past three weeks. So that's all I can think of. Why is it spicy? So I would say the first two are the most intense in your face fall, but also not being too over the top. Cause you guys know I'm really picky about scents. Sweater weather and leaves are more subdued, more toned down. 
but still so good. Just a little bit more fresh. This one's the freshest. So those are my Bath and Body Works fall candles that are so near and dear to my heart. I love them so much. If you cannot bring yourself to make a Bath and Body Works purchase, which I totally understand, I do have one candle from Target that I love. This is also pumpkin spice scented. Is it saying notes on here? No, just pumpkin spice. Okay, this one's really subtle as well, so I feel like it falls more in that sweater weather and leaves category. It's just not so intense and in your face. Honestly, I don't really smell pumpkin spice in this. It just smells good. I don't know what it smells like. It still smells like fall to me. I just don't overtly smell pumpkin spice. Maybe that's just me. Really nice though, subtle, yummy fall scent. And the reason I'm obsessed with this is because of this jar. So it has that kind of crackly packaging. So when you light it, it gives you that really cool kind of spooky bonfire-y look, which I love. So actually what I've been, the drop every time. So actually what I've been doing the past couple weeks to fully embrace fall is I have been lighting my candles in the morning and I leave the lights off and I, <laughs> this sounds so creepy. I sit there with my coffee and then just like slowly wake up for like 30 minutes before I'm ready to start my day. Kind of like browse through emails, whatever. <sighs> It brings me a joy, I can't explain. Okay, I feel like a nice segue from candles is just fall decor. So keep in mind, I live in an apartment. I don't have very much space to work with and I don't own this property. So my options are kind of limited and I love just buying little things that I can set out to decorate for the season. And then I just kind of rotate as the seasons go on. So for fall, I got a few items that I'm obsessed with that are all from Target. The first two are these woven pumpkins. I mean, come on. So this one is braided and it's all natural wood colors and then has this twisted stem. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, I just love this because it's not too in your face. Like this looks trendy without trying too hard. Oh, I don't know. I know nothing about interior design. I try my best. I thought this was super cute. And then I got this mini version, which is white and it kind of has that same twisted stem, but it's just a little bit thicker. And I love how this just has kind of those natural brown colors pulled in. It's just thrown together. So, I mean, what? They have a few others like this that are not these ones, like a few other patterns slash designs and sizes. Gosh, those are cute. Next, my other thing is just plants. I think because I don't know how to decorate, I'm like pumpkins and fake plants. So I normally just have a lot of green fake plants in my apartment and then I'll kind of swap in depending on the season. So I found this at Target. What? Tell me that doesn't scream fall. So this is just a tabletop arrangement. These are obviously fake, but I could not stop staring at it when I saw it. I just love changing leaves and fall colors like this. I think it's so pretty. And again, it kind of has that natural wood element to tie into the rest of our apartment. So I set this on a bookshelf actually next to this pumpkin. And I think it's super cute like that. If you had windowsills, this would be so cute to set in a windowsill as well. Show you guys up close. Come on, come on. It's so cute, I love this one. And then the last decorative item that I have is another plant that I also could not stop staring at. This is so pretty, oh my God. <laughs> you guys are like, chill, it's a fake plant. <laughs> this is another tabletop arrangement and has this ceramic pot vase. Like I said, I don't know how to talk about decor. Ceramic pot at the bottom and then has these stems. Oh my gosh, these are so pretty. Just different colors of purples and browns and slightly red, but really, really muted. I think this is so pretty. So I have this sitting on our island in the kitchen. Isn't that nice? Okay, so that's it for all of my apartment decor that's been making me happy. It's very unnatural for me to talk about 
decor because I literally have no idea what I'm talking about. So let's move on to the next category. I hope that you guys liked that even though my descriptions were terrible. Okay, let's move on to comfy clothes, including the outfit I'm wearing. Okay, so when I went to pick up my Bath & Body Works candles, I stumbled upon these. And honestly, I don't go shopping for clothes that often. I've told you guys this before. I'm very, very particular about the clothes that I buy. Like I know exactly what I want. And when I find something that I like, I will buy it in multiple colors, which is exactly what we have done here. Cause I'm just super picky. I feel like I'm kind of boring. I'm very classic comfort. I would say is my style mixed with a little street wear. Comfort always. So these are all comfy clothes, sweats, hoodies. Ugh. And they're actually all from Aerie. I don't know the last time I bought something from Aerie, but I was just like, wow, they have really cute stuff and they're so good. Okay, let's actually start with the one that I'm wearing. So I have two in this color. This is actually a hoodie, as we can see, and it has little thumb holes in it. <laughs> and let me actually show you the color I'm not wearing so you can see the bottom of it. I mean, it's pretty basic. There's not much to it, but that's why I like it because I am a very plain and basic kind of girl. But this, I don't know what this sorcery is. This is one of the softest, comfiest materials I have ever felt, ever felt. This is not like that towel-y, you know that towel-y, what is that material? Okay, I should take this down, hold on. I thought of it, French terry. That to me is like fake comfy because it looks like it's gonna be so comfy, but it has that rough inside. I don't like that. I need truly soft through and through and this feels like butter. So this is called the Airy Offline OTT in all caps. I'll have everything linked below if you guys are interested, but it's the Airy Offline Ot Fleece Hoodie. I have the size medium. I like things to be oversized. I felt like, I'll show you guys. So I'm 5'10 and a half for reference. I felt like that was good, right? Like the sleeves cover my hands, which I like when I stand. I don't know. I felt like it was good without being too oddly shaped because this isn't the kind of thing that, I don't know, like the bigger sizes didn't get bigger in the shoulders and all over to make it really loose. It kind of just expanded in width. So that's why I went with medium for this and I have the black color and I also got this shade right here, which is called Arbor Olive, whatever that means. You guys, I love this thing. I am gonna live in this, I mean, for the rest of the year. This is just, it's so comfy. And I think this is a really good one for those of you that don't want something that looks super pajama-y and sweatpants-y, you know? Like it's a little bit elevated for comfy clothes but it's so comfortable. You guys have to try this. Oh my gosh. And then I actually got the matching sweatpants because they're so soft and comfortable. So these are just joggers. Well, that doesn't do anything. <laughs> they're joggers and I got them in black. And again, this olive color to just wear as a set with the sweatshirt. I mean, just a basic jogger, but again, it's that same, just uber soft and buttery material. So in the joggers, I got a size small and that length works for me, even though I'm 5'10". If they were a little bit longer, I would like that, but I get that I'm the outlier, unfortunately, with my height. And I'm looking online now and they actually have shorts in that material. So I'm gonna need to actually buy those because those would be the comfiest sleep shorts ever of all time. I see that they also have this in white and light gray, so I'll probably honestly buy those too. <laughs> okay, now I have a different hoodie from Aerie. I have two more. I got different colors because I liked it that much. And this is more of just kind of your basic casual hoodie. Oh, I love it. So I got this size extra large in this so that it could fit super oversized. And this is kind of what I'm talking about, what I like for an oversized sweatshirt because it makes the whole thing big. Do you know what I'm saying? Instead of just wide, like it's big all over, it's loose, it's slouchy. That's what I personally really like in an oversized sweatshirt. So let me pull up the name of this one. Okay, this is called their weekend oversized hoodie. So again, for reference, I'm 5'10". I had to get a size extra large to get this as oversized as I wanted it to be. And then this shade specifically is called Paradise Bound. I don't know what that means. It's kind of this really, really light, 
beigey green. Like it's not fully green, it's not fully tan, it's kind of in between tie-dye, which I thought was cute. And then I just got a plain white one. Yeah, this is just in white. So they also have a couple other colors in this as well, but I don't have any just white oversized hoodies like this, believe it or not. So that's why I got those. This thing. You guys are gonna see me, well, you already see me in the same five shirts over and over. You're gonna now see me in the same five sweatshirts and sweaters over and over for the next six months. Okay, next is a coffee creamer and this is my fall addiction. It is the Califia Farms Coconut Cream and Almond Milk Creamer in pumpkin spice flavor. So this is a dairy-free and sugar-free creamer, which is amazing for me. I really try to look out for sugar on ingredient labels because sugar makes me break out and also it's just not great for you. So wherever I can minimize it or completely avoid it easily, I like to do that. And creamer is a perfect example of that. This tastes so good. Oh my gosh. I actually don't know if I've ever had the Starbucks pumpkin cream cold brew that everyone's obsessed with, but I just don't feel like I need it because this is amazing. Perfect amount of pumpkin spice flavor. It's not overly sweet. It's not too spicy. It's just like, this is all I want in a pumpkin spice flavor in my coffee. I don't know. So I can't directly compare, but this is just, I mean, I would imagine it's something like this, but those probably taste a lot sweeter since they have sugar in them. So if you're looking for a sugar-free alternative to a pumpkin spice creamer, so you can make your own pumpkin cream cold brew or pumpkin spice latte at home, check this one out. It's super yummy. Okay, so I have one more food related item that I'll just bring up now since we are on the topic and it's candy. So I've talked about Smart Sweets before. I think it is such a good brand. Again, it's something that is sugar free and my original favorite flavors from Smart Sweets were their peach rings and sweet fish. The reason I'm bringing this up, obviously Halloween, candy, hello. It's no fun to sit back and watch other people have all of the treats that you wanna have. And I'm not here to say that you can't have those treats. Of course you can. But if you're like me and looking for an alternative that has less sugar or no sugar because maybe it makes you break out or you're just trying to make a healthier swap, but you wanna join in on the fun, Smart Sweets. I have one more, I just remembered. I hid the wrapper in here so I wouldn't forget. We'll talk about that next. So if you are into the sugary, gummy, chewy kind of candies, you have to check out Smart Sweets. My favorites of all time from them are their peach rings and their sweet fish. These are so good. Like these to me are better than regular peach rings and regular Swedish fish because the texture is so, so soft. Next level texture in these and they're so yummy. Oh my gosh, so those are my favorite flavors, but they recently came out with these gummy worms and look at that Halloween packaging. I mean, what? Spider webs. So you guys probably saw on the front here, it says it has four grams of sugar, but that's not added sugar. So it's not cane sugar or some other added sorts of sugar. It's actually just from fruit. So my neck just cracked. And these are yummy. They're not my favorite Smart Sweets candy, but come on, that's so Halloween, right? It tastes just like a regular gummy worm, you guys. It's crazy. And this is completely not Halloween related because it's watermelon, but they just came out with this watermelon flavor too, which is super, super good. Also has that really nice soft texture. Eli loves these. So Halloween candy alternative, smart sweets. Man, they're good. Okay, and the other candy item that I just freaked out over, I saved the package for you guys because I ate this whole thing in three days. I'm not ashamed. There are these Lily's white chocolate baking chips. Again, no added sugar, they're sweetened with stevia and erythritol, so no cane sugar, no worries there. The reason I'm bringing them up in, the bag still smells so good. The reason I'm bringing them up in this video is because one of my favorite all-time favorite fall snack mixes is something that my mom used to always make when we were growing up and she used to put it you know those glass pumpkin jars my mom used to always put halloween snack mix in there specifically candy corn peanuts and peanut m&ms not regular m&ms peanut m&ms and that was my favorite thing ever growing up that was just like fall in our house how you knew that it was fall time and it is addicting to say the least. So I had that in our apartment last year and we ate that. 
maybe in like four days between Eli and I, the whole pumpkin jar full. So I decided to put off on that for now. Not to say I'm not gonna have that this year, but to just not go overboard this season, I got these and just ate these with peanuts. And it's not exactly the same, of course, but it just kind of reminded me of that flavor. So yummy. So again, if you're looking for an alternative to some of those Halloween snack mixes, Lily's chips. They also have other flavors as well, but these white chocolate ones, I don't know, something about this just feels more fall-ish to me. Okay, I actually forgot I have one more kind of clothing item and it's, <sighs> when will my hands stop failing me and actually grip onto the items that I'm holding? It's actually a pair of shoes, and this is the one that was like kind of a tiny bit of a stretch, but hear me out. The reason I wanted to include this is because I love fall weather so much. So just going on a walk when it's really nice and crisp outside and I can look at the pretty leaves is just one of my favorite things ever. So of course you need a solid pair of walking shoes for that. You know the weather that's like leggings, oversized hoodie, and it's a little bit chilly, but as you get walking, it's perfect. Oh, not too hot, not too cold. There's nothing better. So I've been on the hunt for a really good pair of shoes that I can walk in and run in because I recently started running. That's when you know I'm losing it a little bit. I used to hate running. It still doesn't feel great, but it's been really helpful for me to just get out of the house for a while, get some endorphins going. So I found this pair of shoes from Nike. This is called their Air Zoom Pegasus 37 women's running shoe. And this is such a nice, running shoe. I love these so much. So I had to I had to throw these in here as an honorable mention for all of you guys who love to go on walks as well in the fall. Check these out. Okay, so I did have to include a couple beauty related items and let's start off with nail polish. So these probably look identical in the viewfinder and they are very similar, but they're also different. So I was on the hunt to find my perfect fall berry shade. I wanted something that was bright and still had a good amount of bright pink in there without being a hot pink nail polish but I didn't want it to be a super rich, deep, dark berry because for whatever reason, those end up looking brown on my nails. I think number one, it's because my nails are so short, so it only has a small space to travel, you know, and can't spread it out. I don't know if that's really why. And also just because of my skin tone, I'm so pale, so shades like that just, I don't know, they don't look very flattering on me. They look beautiful in the bottle. And then I'm like, that's brown. So I found two that I felt like were perfect. This first one is the brighter of the two and it's from Zoya and it's the shade Allison. I just feel like this is the ultimate fall berry shade. I feel like in the viewfinder, it's looking more like a true pink, but I actually have it on my nails. Kind of looks like a true pink there too. It's not in person. It definitely is a true berry, but it's bright and that's exactly what I wanted. I need to touch this up and put a top coat on it. Excuse that. But if you're looking for that kind of color, this one is so good. I seriously looked so many places and could not find this shade. And then the other one is from OPI and this one is a little bit more muted. So for those of you that don't want something that's quite this bright but really like this shade, this will be the one for you. It's called By Popular Vote. Check that. So you can see there, it's quite a bit more muted. I'll show you next to the Zoya shade. So yeah, a little bit more toned down. I really like this Infinite Shine range from OPI. I feel like it's definitely better than their original polish formulation. So I will link a video below where I swatch for you guys some of my favorite nail polishes of all time. I love nail polish so much. I'm definitely gonna do more nail polish videos. I have one coming up. If that's not already up, stay tuned for that. Otherwise it'll be linked below on static nails. Okay, and then for lipstick. So for me, same kind of thing. Some of those really pretty deep red shades look brown on me. They don't actually look red, so I have to be really careful with the shades that I choose. And I feel like these ones are perfect. So three are from MAC, of course. One's from Milani. So let's start off with the one from Milani. This is the shade 87 Burnt Red, and this is such a good fall time burnt red. I mean, it's just... Gosh, I love that so much. I feel like something like this can be flattering on a lot of different people because it's not its not too vampy, it's not too bright cherry red. It's just something that feels a little bit more wearable but still is definitely bold. So it has that kind of orangey undertone to it. I just feel like this is the perfect Thanksgiving time. 
lip color. One of the MAC lipsticks I was just gonna show you guys is discontinued. And I'm feeling panicked because that's one of my all-time favorites. We're not gonna talk about it. I won't even do that to you. Okay, so I guess we have two MAC lipsticks now. I'll show you guys these from lightest to darkest. The first is Brick Olay, I think. And this is just a really pretty light berry tone. Oh my gosh, look at that, you guys. Is that not fall? This is a really nice wearable berry tone. And on my hand, I feel like it looks lighter than it actually ends up looking on my face. I feel like it looks almost red when I wear it, but not completely. So that one's really pretty if you're looking for a little bit more of an everyday berry. And then this one is definitely the vampiest shade that I own from MAC. It's called Retro. And this is kind of the darkest that I can go in this realm before it starts to look completely brown on me. So that is Retro right there. Same kind of thing as Brick Olay, but just a little bit deeper a little bit more cool toned, super pretty. All right, you guys, we're gonna wrap up this video here. It is getting very dark and gloomy outside. It's like the perfect fall weather, so it feels kind of fitting, but I'm sorry if this has been a little bit dark. I try my best to lighten it in these situations. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my fall aesthetic favorites. You'll definitely have to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Did you like this video? Do we want more videos like this? Should I do one for every season? Cause I definitely can. I feel like that would be super fun. And let me know if any of these items are your fall favorites or what your fall favorites are. Again, if you're interested in purchasing anything that I talked about in this video, I will have links to everything below with names, if we had shades or scents or anything like that, I'll make sure to include that for you guys. So if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that notification bell that helps to support my channel and helps to make sure that you don't miss out on my next video because I upload three to five days a week here on this channel. If there's anything else that you would like to see from me next, leave that request in the comments below. Otherwise, my next video will be up in a few days and I'm gonna work on my hand gestures in that next video. And until then, I hope you have a great few days. Come little children. My contact. <laughs> Get me out of here.